After a day of gathering, Creusa was making her way home when Apollo suddenly appeared. Despite Creusa's protests, Apollo carried her off into a nearby cave. Creusa didn't tell her parents about her unborn child with Apollo due to her hatred for Apollo and his lack of help. Creusa returned to the cave where she gave birth to Apollo's child. She abandoned the baby, but later became curious of what happened to him. She returned to the cave, but there was nothing there. Sometime later, Creusa got married to Exuthus, a stranger to Athens. When they were unable to have kids, they traveled to Delphi to ask the gods if they could hope for a child. Creusa left Exuthus and went up to the sanctuary to find out the fate of her child. She was met by a boy named Ion, who told her that he didn't know where he came from and that he grew up here. Creusa explained that a friend of hers wanted to know what happened to a child she had with Apollo that was abandoned. Exuthus then appeared and claimed that Apollo declared Ion to be their son, which upset Ion. Before leaving the sanctuary, Ion gathered the cloth he was wrapped in when he was found as a baby. Upon seeing the wrappings, Creusa realized that Ion was actually her son. She proved this by explaining the embroideries on the cloth. Creusa and Ion finally reunited. Athena then descended and explained that Ion is Creusa and Apollo's son. He was brought here from the cave by Apollo. Ion should be brought to Athens, where he is worthy to rule. Apollo was in love with Cronus, a beautiful mortal, yet Cronus didn't love him because she preferred a mortal. Apollo found out about Cronus' rejection and killed her. He eventually felt bad about Cronus, so he saved the child they had just before Cronus was buried. He named the child Asculapius and brought him to Chiron, where he would be raised. Chiron became very fond of Asculapius. He taught him the act of healing, leading Asculapius to become more talented than the very talented Chiron. Asculapius healed many people, but one of his major cases was his bringing back of Hippolytus from the dead. Zeus was angered by this. He believed that a mortal should not have power over the dead. So, Zeus struck Asculapius with a thunderbolt, killing him. Asculapius' death made Apollo angry. In result, he went and killed the Cyclops because they create the Thunderbolts. Because of this, Zeus made Apollo King Admetus' slave for a period of time. 
Aesculapius was honored on earth and continued to heal sick people even after his death through their dreams.